My name is Dr. Marlon Scott. I'm the senior chaplain here at Piedmont Columbus Regional. And I've been asked to give a few words on Juneteenth. Juneteenth is Monday, June 19th. And it's the old celebration for the ending of slavery in our country. One of the things I love about Juneteenth, it's just not an African-American holiday. Juneteenth is a holiday for everybody. And in the business that I am in, I have friends of all races. And when Juneteenth became known, when a lot of people didn't know about it, everybody, for all my friends from other races were like, I am just excited about Juneteenth. It's an American holiday, not just an African American holiday. It's a patriotic holiday. We celebrate, just like we celebrate the 4th of July, we celebrate the ending of slavery. And we are so appreciative that he is allowing us to celebrate as a, as a company. Uh, it's such a great thing. I want to thank all the people in our diversity and inclusion team for making this happen. Happy Juneteenth, everybody, and happy 4th of July. Hello, I'm Alan Holliday, Chief Financial Officer for Piedmont Columbus Regional, and I'm honored to be able to say a few words about this holiday. Juneteenth, short for June 19th, marks the day when federal troops arrived in Galveston, Texas in 1865 to take control of the state and ensure that all enslaved people would be freed. It's a historic milestone reminding Americans of the triumph of human spirit over the harshness of slavery and the basic civil rights of freedom and equality for all. Juneteenth honors the end of slavery in the United States and is considered the longest running African American holiday. Admittedly, this holiday was not celebrated widely until 2021 when it became a federal holiday. As for what it means to me personally, I grew up in Alabama in the 1960s. I experienced a lot of tension that still existed. I went through the integration of our public school in the 1970s. I've seen changes take place. I'm happy to say that my children and grandchildren have grown up in a time when there is more focus on celebrating the things we have in common as Americans, and this holiday is a great example of that. I know we still have things to accomplish, but I do believe we're getting better as a nation. So join me in celebrating this day, but also in praying for our country as we continue to strive for equality for all of our citizens. Hi, I'm Joel Ames, the Director of Community Relations. To me, Juneteenth is a time that we can stop and reflect on the impact slavery has had on our country. And even to think about it today, more than 100 years after it's been abolished. Hey everybody, I'm Ed Scott. I'm really uh, glad to be able to talk to you a little bit about Juneteenth today and what it means to me personally. Uh, Juneteenth to me, I think in the word, means progress. Uh, it took a, a, a number of years, two plus years, for every state in the United States to recognize the emancipation of the slaves. Um, Juneteenth recognizes the day in June when um, in Texas they, they recognized the emancipation of the slaves and all slaves were considered to be free in the country. That was quickly followed up by the 13th Amendment to our Constitution without which outlawed slavery. So Juneteenth is an incredibly important day um, in our nation and in our history for African Americans. I grew up in a, in, a, in a very integrated community in a small town in Virginia, and it was a blessing to me to be able to go to school with all types of people, um, all types of people, all beliefs, all races. And I couldn't imagine growing up any other way. Um, and it's important to recognize what's important to each of us in the workplace as we seek every single day here at, at Piedmont Columbus Regional to make a positive difference in every life we touch. And so Juneteenth to me is, is, a, is a date that we made progress as a country. And we're still making progress today. Um, it's not perfect, but um, it's, it's indeed always important for us to keep striving, to keep striving. And um, I'm glad to, to recognize Juneteenth this year. I hope you all will join us in the celebration. Captain Sandra Tyler, Juneteenth means the world to me because this part of world history was omitted in my educational process as a child. I only came about the knowledge of this after I became an older adult. Think about it. After being enslaved, a people enslaved for over 200 years, there were two additional years that they would have to wait in Texas for the Union troops to come to announce their freedom. This has awakened a cultural vulnerability within me, but I have purposed to overcome. I've done so by researching my own DNA, by making my family fully aware. I purpose to take my grandchildren to banking institutions 
but they will invest in their own educational process. And last of all, I will encourage that they renounce and reject all forms of cultural shame. Juneteenth, it means the world's end.